in the context of your explanation in the 108th session, is mathematics pseudoscience or not scientific because it is definitive? If not, what does testability and falsifiability mean in mathematics? Right, so there is a question. That's the question. So, is mathematics pseudoscience because apparently there's no testability? So let's say I... I make a claim, a mathematical claim. I say that 1 plus 1 is equal to 3. Can it be tested? Let's test it. This is 1. This is 1 pen. And I say that 1 plus 1 1 equal to 3, right? Yes, another pen. What do you see? I see two pens. So my hypothesis that 1 plus 1 equal to 3 has been tested and falsified. So mathematics is testable. Mathematics is definitely falsifiable. And mathematics is all about proofs, right? So we had the Pythagorean theorem, the Pythagorean theorem, the triples, uh, which you find in the Bodhiyana, Sulba Sutra, Shulba Sutras, uh, even the Babylonians were aware of it. So that is something you can test. And if you, if you give a, instead of saying that a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared, you said that a squared plus b squared is equal to c cubed, you can test that out and you can show that that is incorrect. It's not c cubed, it's c squared. You can test it out. And you can even prove or disprove theorems using logic, using the mathematical uh, process. Entire proofs are constructed. So certain proofs take centuries. Take Fermat's last theorem, for instance. It was put forth by Pierre de Fermat in 1637, I think, in the 17th century. So it is not something that people started believing. It had to be proven. This guy, the mathematician Fermat, he made a certain claim in one of his uh, notebooks or whatever. And then people were wondering whether this claim is true or not. And therefore, it had to be proven or disproven. And that process lasted more than three centuries. The, the attempt, the quest for a proof of this theorem. It's only in 1995 that the British mathematician Andrew Wiles was able to finally give a definitive proof that this theorem is correct. right? And this entire process of trying to prove this theorem led to the development of algebraic number theory in the 19th century and the 20th century. So you don't believe things blindly in mathematics. You have to prove it. Any claim, any mathematical claim that is made, any conjecture that's made, the Riemann conjecture or whatever, it has to be proven. Until it is proven, it is not, nobody believes it. It's something people are trying to prove or disprove. So you have to definitively prove that it's correct, that it stands, or you have to definitely, definitively, definitively prove mathematically that it is incorrect. So this is pure science. There is nothing pseudoscientific about mathematics. It is 100% testable and falsifiable. All right? So mathematics is the purest of all the sciences. Without mathematics, there's no other science. Without mathematics, there is no physics because mathematics is the language of physics. Without physics, there's no chemistry. Without chemistry, there's no biology and so on and so forth. So I hope that answers this question.